Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A, where you ask the questions and we give you the answers. Our first question today comes from Felina. Is the engine protection feature only available on the Elite Series ECUs? Felina, the engine protection series is available on the Sport range and the Elite Series. The difference between the Sport and the Elite Series, the Sport has one level of protection, which means that if anything happens to trip the engine protection, you'll get the same rev limiter, the same ignition retard, and the same fuel enrichment. On the Elite Series ECU, you've actually got three levels of protection. So that if something very small or minor happens, you could simply enrich the engine a little bit and maybe lower the rev limiter from say 8,000 down to 7,000. You've also got a second and a third level. The second level might rev limit the engine at 2,000 or 5,000 RPM so you can limp home. The third level might be for something like uh, no oil pressure, which in turn you could set up to turn the engine off altogether. Our second question today comes from Ted Brog. Ted asks, which of your ECUs can support rally style anti-lag? Our Sport Series, our Elite 1500 and Elite 2500 ECUs all support launch style anti-lag and rally style anti-lag. Launch style being the type that's activated off a button or off a clutch switch to allow you to build boost in a turbocharged car to get the car off the start line. Rally style anti-lag being enabled all the time where the engine is always building boost. This way, when you decelerate through a corner, the engine actually stays on boost, makes the banging and cracking noise that people love so much. We will be doing a video on rally style anti-lag shortly, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that one. Our last question today comes from Maxine. Do any Haltech ECUs support turbo RPM sensors? and do they offer protection against surge? Maxine, yes. The Elite 1500 and the Elite 2500 series ECU both allow you to add up to two turbo speed sensors. So they can read up to 200,000 RPM of the turbo shaft speed. We can use that information to then adjust your launch strategy, your rev limiters, uh, your engine protection, just so that your turbos don't go over speed. Well, that's all we've got today. Thanks very much for your questions. We're looking forward to receiving more for upcoming episodes. Don't forget to leave them in the comments below.